Hey, the cream cheese is awesome too. I don't know if you like cream cheese or not. Yeah, the drinks are over there on the wall. Do what? Three drinks, son. Yeah, three drinks. Or actually, I've actually I've already got a tea, so just two drinks. You're gonna get some too? Yeah, I'm gonna get one too. American girl meat eater. Red meat? Yeah. Okay, so this is mine. What kind of mayonnaise did you have to have put in there? Spicy. Go ahead and show it to me. Spicy mayonnaise. I got steak, carrots, um, peppers, um, onions. What's this host? What's this called? That's wasabi. Wasabi. She's about to have her first wasabi experience. What's this right here? That's ginger. Oh, it's ginger. Uh, yeah, that's that's what you finish with the ginger. You finish with to kind of cleanse the palate. I got. I just have them through the. I just have. I got tuna, but I had them throw the kitchen sink at it because that's how I roll. It smells really good. Right, well, the first thing. I like you how need, neat they make it. Yeah, first thing you need to do is get your your chopsticks in order. The way you do that, okay, break your chopsticks in. You don't want a splinter, so you do this. See? And then you could roughen up the, the the business end of things too. Just kind of like that. That'll help you get a little grip. And when you hold when you hold the chopsticks, you just you just hold them like that. And then you know, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now you take one without anything on it. And what I mean by that is soy sauce or anything. By the way, when you eat sushi, you put the whole thing in your mouth at one time. At one time. Okay, so. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, don't cover your mouth up now. Let it all hang out. What's your first impression? You like it? Seriously? It is good, isn't it? Okay, so now we're going to do something a little funky. Okay, you're going to take, and I, the, the soy sauces that I got were the low sodium because, you know, I'm thinking of your health. Go ahead and open one up, and what I want you to do, we're going to turn this around on you. Okay, what, what I want you to do is I want you to put soy sauce there and then take your chopsticks and move, mix the uh, wasabi in with the soy sauce. Mix this in with it? Mix it in, you, you make a little, a little, and you might want to kind of bring this up to where the so soy sauce goes to the corner. Yeah, we're going to probably need some more soy sauce. <laughs> oh shit, I got soy sauce all over me now. And what is this sauce made out of? Wasabi? Yeah. It's like a it's like a root, kind of like um um kinda of like a horseradish. Everybody watching this is probably gonna make fun of me because I know nothing. Now listen, everybody that's watching this, you know damn well I could have had her just put a big piece of wasabi in her mouth. I want credit for not doing that. You know what I'm talking about. Why? <laughs> is it gross? No, it's I love it. I can't get enough of it. Why don't you make this shit at home? I make. I used to make uh, sushi all the time. So literally, what you got looked like it was raw fish. It what? Mine was raw fish. Mine is mine is raw fish. Is that bad for you? Huh? No. If it's good quality sushi, quality. Spicy hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. First time I ever tried wasabi in my life, my buddy Keith, who's Japanese, half Japanese, I said to him, I go, what's that? He goes, oh no, just go ahead and pop it into your mouth. 
It was straight up raw wasabi. Holy shit. No, that's mine. But it's okay. That's all right. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> Green tea. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh yeah. I took a big chunk of it. <laughs> I'm like a four-year-old. I got shit all over me. So is it cleaning out your uh, sinuses? Sure. See now, I'll tell you how much I love wasabi. You notice what's on top of mine? Wasabi mayonnaise. So oh, I'm gonna really? do wasabi mayonnaise, plus I'm gonna dip it in this. I had to put it in a cup. I came back, I'd probably get I'd a different a sauce for the top. What do you get? Um, spicy mayo with, um, fuck, what else did I get? She mixed two together. It was spicy mayo and I think it's soy. Yeah. She said it was her favorite. I was like, okay, I've never been here, so why not? Well, the funny thing is when you say, if I come back, sushi is addictive. white rice, I got the brown, but that seaweed wrap runner is really good for you. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Look like a really super high in vitamin C. Oh, that's good. Yeah, seaweeds are super food. That's why the Japanese live to their gazillion years old. It's not mine. Yeah, yours is on the floor. Can we get the same thing? Oh, you got lemonade. I got a combination of a bunch of shit. Oh, really? Yeah, I was mixing them. I got green tea and I put a little bit of lemonade on the top because it wasn't very strong. I'm a big green tea drinker. I love green tea. It's so good for you. The benefits are... Super antioxidants. I drink the shit out of it. I like um hot green tea with honey. I drink a cup of that every night. Mm. I turned your sister Heidi on to um, the um, chamomile. Yeah, yeah. help you sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make you feel really sleepy and good and comfortable. And I need to take a minute. I ate that last one too fast. I like swallowed it whole. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. I went to a place called Taiji, Japan, and I was eating sushi at a little sushi restaurant, and um, it was so good, and it just tasted so fresh, and I said to the sushi chef, who didn't speak very good English, I said to him, I go, this is, this is probably some of the freshest tasting sushi I've ever had, you know what I said to him? Was, the fish was swimming three hours ago. <laughs> Taiji's a fishing village. Oh, is it? Yeah. And I laughed, and he laughed. Some of the best sushi I ever had was there, and also in Tokyo. You know, the weird thing about it is, is that the Japanese don't really look at sushi like we do. They look at sushi like we look at McDonald's. It's just a fast food to them. You know, it's a way to get something in you really quick. It's not really super expensive. Who would you say was like that? The Japanese. They, That's why they're so skinny. Well, they tell us, but in Tokyo, Every alleyway, it seems like, has a, a little sushi shop that only holds like 15, 20, 30 people. And um, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. But it literally, they, they treat sushi like fast food. Now, they do have some high-end sushi places, and I went to them. But to be honest with you, I loved those little sushi little sushi shops, or sushi bars, or whatever they're called. Loved them. And it was funny, because the one I went to, it said it had a sign, if you don't speak Japanese, and then it had pictures of the sushi, and you just pointed. Well, I didn't speak Japanese, so I was pointing to the thing, and I wasn't sure what all I was going to get, you know, but it turned out to be awesome. I'd like to go back to Japan. 
I just hate that 13 hour flight. You know. So what did you get on yours? Well, I got tuna. Um, I got tuna, but I also got crab. crab and then I got um, asparagus, one green onion, and then I got uh, some um, cream cheese, which doesn't sound like it would go with sushi, but it is really good. Um, I think that's pretty much it, but I got I the got brown rice. cream cheese on mine, too. Did you? Yeah, I like the green. I, the, this place, the first place I ever got cream cheese on sushi before, and I have to admit, it was good. I don't think they do that in Japan. I've never seen it. So, we're going on 10 minutes. Oh, good. We're going over 10 minutes. We'll put this on your um, channel because somebody did ask for more food reviews. Yeah, two people did. Yeah. Alright, so thumbs up on the sushi. Do they um, only do steak or what other kind of meat do they do? Um, it's just what she recommended. They had chicken too. Oh, they do? Mm hmm. Chicken okay. wouldn't be bad. Or I would probably get all veggie next time. No. Yeah. They do have vegan ones where it's all vegetables like with tofu. That's what the steak looks like. It's like shredded. Have you tried a piece of the ginger yet? Yeah, I ate a little bit of it with my first one. Not very fond of ginger. Oh, dude, put one of the, just the ginger in your mouth. You can take it back out if you don't like it, but it needs to stand alone. It needs to what? Stand alone. And it's so healthy for you. If you got stomach ailments, ginger will cure your stomach ailments. It's so slimy. It's pickled it's like ginger. white lettuce. <laughs> no. Man. Man. So you don't like seafood, right? No. Man. Well, this, I could eat some fish when it's fried really good and it tastes like chicken. Well, this um, this crab that I have, I'm sure, is imitation crab. Oh, really? Yeah. But if you don't like the taste of seafood, then you don't like that. Yeah. I've never tried crab before. Really? I have tried shrimp. And it like was shrimp? shrimp was okay. I just don't. I can't get past the slimy feeling in my mouth. Really? So it's a texture thing. That's what people tell me they don't like tomatoes. They're like, I don't like the taste of tomatoes in my mouth. Or the I feel like texture. tomatoes are almost like a fruit, though. Like when you eat well, them, yeah, like technically a plum. they are fruit. You know what I mean? Like you're eating a plum. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes just because I don't like the flavor. Um, it's good when it's in salsa, but we never eat like a plain tomato. Like people can eat like an apple. I don't get how people can do that. Yeah. Fun fact. In the back seat is Molly's sister, who you can only see her arm. That's it. Yeah, do the peace sign or something. Yeah, do the peace sign. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. That would be the famous <coughs> Nikki Blade. Blade. All right, I am actually going to be done eating mine right now. <laughs> no, that's totally cool. What, how, what, what time are we at? 12 minutes. But all in all, though, you give it a thumbs up. I do. Yeah. For your first sushi experience, and I guarantee it will not be your last. Um, so, that's cool. Thank you for watching. Peace.